from the studios of CNN to the halls of Drury, author and analyst Jeffrey Tubin brought his unique perspective on politics, the law, and the U.S. Supreme Court to campus in October as part of a new annual lecture series. The series is sponsored by the L.E. Metter Center for Politics and Citizenship. There are five Republicans and four Democrats. Now, I'm going to talk somewhat longer about the Supreme Court, but I believe you now know most of what you need to know about the United States Supreme Court. Well, with the opening of the Metter Center, we want to focus on uh, our inaugural speaker series being uh, looking at rights and liberties, and one of the best things to do with that is to look at the Supreme Court, and I can't think of any other better analyst to come talk to us than Jeffrey Tubin. His books on the Supreme Court, his writings with The New Yorker, his analysis on, C on CNN, um, are, are rich and unbiased. While at Dury, Tubin spoke with students in the classroom, exchanged ideas with professors, and delivered a keynote speech about the court to an enthusiastic crowd in Clara Thompson Hall. There are eight justices who are very engaged and very prepared and ask lots of hard questions, and Clarence Thomas never says anything. Now, you know, I think a lot of us in, in journalism live in a kind of New York and Washington bubble, and it's fantastic to be in Springfield and talk to people who were young and aware and not part of that bubble and, and learn what they're thinking about politics and law. Tubin is an author of two best-selling books on the Supreme Court. In speaking to Dr. Dan Ponder's freshman core class about his books, Tubin revealed some of his research methods, one in particular that's right under our fingertips. Something I use a lot is Facebook. You know, I mean, basically every American I mean, Facebook is an you know, a incredible resource. Tupin says he often hears from the public that the court is, quote, too political. But he says that's simply the nature of the decisions that come before the justices. Throughout the court's history, they've always been very political. Because the issues that come before the court, same-sex marriage, affirmative action, abortion rights, you can't answer those questions in a way that's divorced from politics. They are political questions. Before wrapping up his jury visit, Tubin also touched on the upcoming elections and the importance of youth voters getting involved. But he also cautioned that begging young people to vote may not be the answer. You know, I think we have to trust the intelligence of, of 18 to 25 year olds and say, look, don't be dumb. Look at the stakes in these elections. Pay some attention. And frankly, I think most of them will because they're not dumb and they recognize the stakes are important.